Morning guys, welcome to the fifth instalment of Scottish Vapes and I'm here to tell you that I have some fantastic news. Today, this very morning, I was woken up by my girlfriend to be told that my TFV4 is finally here! Yes folks, it is finally here. The Cloud Beast is here, it's on my mod, it's ready to go and I have been loving this for the past four hours. Now, um, well, I shouldn't really be saying good morning, I should say good afternoon. Let's fix that first of all. Now, I've been vaping on this for about a couple of hours now, um, so I can't show you the uh, the coil I've got in this. Um, but I can do some comparisons um, of coils, uh, if I remember where they are. Um, bear with me on that. So I'll find the coils. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, first we'll start off with some specs. This tank will take 6ml of juice. It's 24 at the bottom, but I believe it goes up to 25, maybe 24.5 as it goes onto the glass. And then it goes back in there, 24mm. Um, what more can I really say? It is quite literally a cloud beast. The coils in these, well the T8 coils, which is the sort of the same, the V8 sorry should I say, which is the same as the T8s in this, are contoplet coils. Um, the one I had in the TFV4, the one I have in there should I say, um, could do a maximum wattage of, or what was it? What was that again? Of 180 watts, I was correct in the first try. 180 watts. This little bad boy can do 260 watts. 260 watts. <laughs> um, I'll show you guys exactly what that looks like. Well, near enough, my mod can only do about 250. I do need to get a more powerful mod for that. But um, I've been loving this tank since I got it, and it was as good as I thought it would be. Um, let's go into the package, shall we? So, there is the front of the box, the TFV8 Cloud Beast. On the side it will show you the coils you get. You get a V8, oh, a Q4 and an RBA. If you look at it, it there's your QR codes. And now there is something I did notice about this packaging which I thought was quite impressive, very impressive in fact. And it's something that I personally believe in doing even though I'm not from America or have the same issues you guys are having. And that's this sticker right here. This sticker says, Fight for your right to vape. Donate 10 cents in your name. So basically what they're saying is, buy this tank they'll donate 10 cents to the CASA on your behalf for your to fight for your right to vape which to me is bloody brilliant that's a great idea, that's brilliant anyway, so slide off the package or the cover standard smock box there is where your tank would be as obviously mine's on my mod take this off and inside you get some Nice seals, and you get a 510 adapter as the top cap on this is much bigger than a 510, and unfortunately cannot be removed, which may be a con for some people. Um, you get some cotton, an instruction manual. Uh, with pictures for those who need them. Warning card as well. Uh, where is right? Um, had to pause that for toilet break there, guys. Sorry. Um, where is that? Yes, and inside you get uh, the Q4, just four coils on top of each other. You get an Allen key, if 
for your RBA system and of course the RBA system itself and a spare glass for the tank so now I just want to show you guys the RBA system you can see there parallel velocity step veloc velocities velocity deck and also as I said you get a spare glass as well now there is something I want to just touch upon Time being out, the, the TFV4's coils were considered the biggest on the market and why wouldn't you? Now, this isn't the same coil per se in the same sense, but you can definitely see that this is bigger than that. Now this is the biggest coil you could get for the TF, TFV4, which was the T8 with the quintuplet coils. This is only four, this is the, this is the quad for the TFV8. And it is so much bigger in size. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. Anyway. Heard enough about that. Weighing all that jazz. Now, why don't we just get down to brass tacks? Shall we? Now, I should say... I have had a bit of leaking on this already, which is a bit of a shame, but I think that might just be because it is new. Because um, I did have some, I did have a similar issue with the TFV4, but never then expanding and sucking in juice, it just takes too much sometimes and it goes out. But after you've wiped it away and you've vaped it a couple of times, it should be fine. Anyway. Why don't we just go and have a vape, shall we? Why don't we just have a vape, yeah. What did I also mention? You get two, two cock rings or vape bands, however you want to call them. I've got them already on here. So as you can see, one says Smock. And the other, no, the one says Cloud Beast by Smock. And the other says Keep On Vaping. Which for you guys, I hope you do. Now, I'm going to vape this. 120 watts, which, according to the coil, is its best range. It's its lowest best range. So, let's go. Whew, can you still see me? <laughs> it's got to be the smoothest 120 watt vape I've ever had. And I barely went over 100. I mean, the starting range that I would use in a TFE4 was 100. This is 20 watts more. And it's fantastic. I'm, I'm vaping in the V8 at the moment. Don't, don't know if you can really see that in there. But I'll tell you exactly what's best range is. And what it could actually do if you want to go crazy. And if you look right down in the tip, you'll see those four coils. Well... The top four, should I say, there's four below that as well. Now, um, it still has its swivel um, fill-up system, but as you can see, the entry hole for your, your liquid is a bit bigger. And i got to say that the, the swivel on that is a lot tighter than what it was in a TFV4, which is good because I heard that some people had issues with it just swinging open and leaking everywhere in their pocket, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, if you ask me. You fill up with liquid and it goes everywhere, wasting your money, wasting your time and makes, you, makes your clothes a bit sticky. Now, they do give you with the pack of your seals a 510 um, dip tip attachment which I have here I believe this will go right inside your top of your cap if I can get it in if it doesn't then I'm going to look such a jackass ok maybe it doesn't I'll find where that goes anyway. But bear in mind, I've only just taken this out of the package. Most people do reviews with a week, but I'm too damn excited to do one. Anyway, let's get on to the comparisons of it. So, there's a TFE4 TFV8. Uh, you can see just there, you can definitely see it's a much bigger tank. 
the drip tip as much. It's a wide bore drip tip on this, which is fixed as far as I know. Yeah. It's not going to go anywhere. I've tried that for about 10, 15 minutes, try and get that thing off, and I'll just break the tank if I even manage to do. Um, so, why don't we, for the time being, before I go on to the TFV4 comparison part of this video, why don't we take this thing up to its maximum range? Well, the closest I'll get to it, I can get within 10 watts of it. I can get to 250, not 260 as much as I wanted to. Um, and see how she vapes on that, but we'll go up steadily because it's I've just woken up and uh, I don't want to kill myself. So this is it. This is me at my usual vape for this thing, which would be 112 watts. <laughs> Whoo! Wow! God, I love this tank. Right, let's scoot it up to 150, shall we? Okay, we went overboard. There we go, 150 watts. Okay, 150. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Right, 200. 200 watts. 200. Stick myself up for this, man. Here we go. Well, they're starting to name this. Well, it's definitely a cloud, a cloud beast. Let me stick this up to the maximum I can. Should be 250. Right, here we go. 250 watts on a new TF. B8. Oh man. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I've now managed to do it. A bit more leakage again, though. I don't think I would recommend doing that on a daily basis. But um, if that's something you guys want to do, then it can do it. Now, there's a couple of things I would want to say about doing that. Like the TFE4, you will drink juice, but this will drink it so much faster. This was a full tank to the brim, and it's just above my orange vape band there quite literally just above it so I've used quite a bit of liquid already and I've only been vaping this for about a couple of well only just filled this about 10 minutes ago <laughs> um, now the comparisons as before with this you had airflow in the top and on the bottom it's now just on the bottom but by god it's a big one you can actually see right through don't know if you guys can see my eye but you can actually see completely through this the airflow in this which is whew, quite a good tank i mean this is so much more um, airy than what the tfe4 was and that's with two airflow on it which i reckon if they combined the two they'd have the same airflow which i think is what they've actually been done um whew, god that vape I did take the wind out of me a bit Anyway, now I got the new TFV8 for $34.99 on vapingman.com. Other places I've seen you cannot get this cheaper to be quite fair, and some places still don't even have it, have it in stock yet, which surprises me considering how big it's going to be, and that you give 10 cents to a charity cause to help you guys to keep vaping. For, to keep vaping. God, it's early for me, give me a break. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely adore this tank. Absolutely adore it. I couldn't find a better I couldn't find a better tank if I tried for being a clay chaser to be very honest with you. As you can see, clay chaser! Hey! Um 
couple of things that I don't really like about it. The fact that um, it leaks if you do over 200 watts. It does leak a bit. Um, but that's something that you're not going to really do that often, let's be honest. Um, the price for that is good, as I believe. Bit crazy that you can do 260 watts on this tank, which for me, even as a cloud chaser, is a bit excessive. But if you stick to its best range, which is 120 to 180 watts, you will be absolutely fine. And the vape at 120 watts, for 120 watts anyway, is quite a cool vape. It's really cool. And the TFV4 was getting to be quite warm. It's considered a warm vape at 120, so this is a difference. Um, it holds more liquid than the TFE4, but that is a necessity because you're going to go through it a lot faster. Bigger coils, bigger juice holes, more liquid to be eaten up, basically. But yeah, for the TFV4, TFV8, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. There will be a six tuplet coil for this tank, six coils, which I believe is a brand new coil, I've never seen that for the TF-V4, so that's a brand new coil they've brought out just for the T8, V8 sorry, um, <clears throat> and what more can I really say other than if you want a cloud beast, if you want a cloud chucking coil uh, tank, get the TF-V8, you're not going to find anything better, not with, not something that can resemble a tank anyway, this to me is almost like a dripper. Or an RDA, if you guys want to see the proper name for these things. But yeah, I would not recommend leaving this on its side. It will leak, I think. Um, which is a bit of a shame, because I was hoping it wouldn't. But there you go. But yeah, for me, I'd personally recommend this all the way. All the way. Uh, what do I have to say on this? I don't really think I have much more to say on this tank. All that. Guys, I appreciate you watching this video. Please subscribe and like. Drop a comment if you have anything to say about the TFV8, whether it's good or bad, if you've bought one or if you're looking to buy one. And what more else can I say then? Thanks for watching. Scottish Vapes. See you later.